Hey Maybe family, my name is Nikki. I'm the Clinical Director of Speech-Language Pathology. Today I'm going to help you walk you through how to help your child say the word ball. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know where I'm going to start. I'm going to start first and is my child interested in the toy or the ball? Right here I have a ball popper. It's pretty easy to get a child interested. Once I turn it on, these balls fly out. They're really exciting. However, sometimes kiddos walk in and they look at it and they don't know why it's fun. So I often have to turn it on, pop, 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 whoa, so cool, before they're able to understand what this ball popper is and what it does. So first I'm always going to think about when I'm teaching a new word, is my child motivated? Are they engaged? And are they somewhat attending? They don't have to be looking at it the whole time, but are they somewhat interested? If I'm trying to get them to play with the ball and they are off staring at um, a different toy, I'm probably going to abandon the ball for the moment and follow their lead. However, if they're looking at the ball popper and I can think about, ooh, they're a little bit interested, let me teach them how to play with this. So I'll start there. And then what I'm gonna do is think about, do they understand the word for the ball? If I have two items, I have a cup and I have a ball and I say, get the ball. Will they reach for the ball? Do they understand what a ball is if I say, go get the ball, and I point at it. So I'm giving them a cue, I'm pointing. Do they understand that they need to go get it? Do they understand what a ball is? Do they look at the ball, but they don't go get it? I'm really thinking about what do they understand here? Now let's say that my child doesn't quite understand what the word ball is. I'm gonna show them. So I'm gonna get them excited. I'm going to show them what the ball is. I'll show you really quickly. It's a little loud, so <laughs> brace yourself. So it's gonna be exciting, the balls pop, whoa, pop, 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 pop. I'm gonna have them pop. I'm gonna turn it off here so I can walk you through the rest of it. Um, and often what I will do is I will pop the balls out. So I will push them onto the floor of my therapy room. And then what I will say is, ooh, get the ball. They often don't get the ball. So I get the ball and I show them, I say, okay, put the ball in. I help the child take the ball. And often their hands are like this, so they're not quite grabbing it. And I help them in, roll, 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 down, whoa, great job. That is how I'm going to start teaching them what a ball is, following simple directions. And then eventually what I'm going to start to do is once they understand the ball, they, I say, go get the ball. They know the routine. I'm gonna pick up the balls. I'm gonna put the balls in. We're really working on those single step directions, helping them start to really understand the routine. Now they understand what the expectations are. Now that they understand expectations, they are ready to start to learn what the word is. And I'm gonna start with a simple sign, ball. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna help the child make ball. So I'm going to say, ooh, ball. I'm gonna take their hands really quickly, form it into ball, and if it looks like this, if it looks like this, if it looks like this, that's okay. What I'm trying to do is teach them that this gesture means ball, and that ball means we can do it on, and the balls get to go again. So I'm teaching them what this means through a simple sign, so we do sign to English, and then I'm also gonna say just at the word level, ball. And you can hear my, my intonation is a little bit different. So instead of just saying get the ball or ball, I'm saying ball, because what I really want them to understand is that is their turn. Being able to say ball is how they can request and how they can make this fun game continue. So after you do this multiple times, and I'm talking about a lot of times, sometimes our kiddos need more repetitions than others. Sometimes they catch on really quickly. Your child is different than every other child that we've ever met. So when we think about our kiddos, really think about who your child is and where their levels are. Are they engaged? Are they understanding? Are they ready for this next step? And then what I'm gonna do is after I teach them the word ball, I'm going to create opportunities and communication temptations. So I'm gonna have the balls. And then what I'm going to do is wait for them. Oh, ball? And I'm going to either wait, well, well I'm going to wait five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna wait expectantly. So instead of waiting, I am waiting. My body is telling them, okay, what are you going to say? Um, and then what they are going to do is either they're going to sign ball, they're going to say ba, or they're going to say ball. If they don't, I'm going to help them. And that is how I will do this routine until they are successfully saying ball. I hope this was a fun video. It was very fun for me. Ball poppers are a really great motivating tool. However, you don't need a fun popping toy to make it exciting. So thinking about the engagement piece, understanding, and then moving towards those words, you're going to see your child using a lot more words and understanding and having a lot more fun doing it. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and follow for more. Yahoo! Yahoo! Yippee! Yippee! Yippee!